from beginner mistakes to buying skins, these are 22 things in Brawl Stars that you should never do. Okay, look, I get you want easy trophies, but is teaming really the way to go? One of the unwritten rules of Brawl Stars is not to team, but in nearly every showdown match, people are breaking the law. Teaming wouldn't be so bad if it didn't mean that you would be ruining the experience for everyone else in your lobby. Some people just want to play the game normally, and having a 5v1 really isn't that fun, now is it? Spending gems is fun, we all do it. I mean, I probably blow in a couple hundred gems myself, but there are just some things you don't want to spend them on, like skins. Okay, I might get a lot of hate for this one, but hear me out. If you're a free-to-play player, completing up to 62 tiers of the Brawl Pass will reward you with 90 free gems, which means every other season you can get a free Brawl Pass. But if you spend them all on, like, Mecha Edgar, then, well, you might have to fork up a few bucks for the next Brawl Pass, and no one wants to do that. One of the first things you learn how to do in Brawl Stars is auto-aiming, and it's really easy to do, but this is one of the worst things that you can do. Okay, on some Brawlers, auto-aiming is really useful, but for general use, manually aiming is the way to go. As you rank up higher, people's movements become more erratic, and auto-aiming will lead to lots of wasted ammo. So just aim normally, okay? Thank me later. Gold is one of the most valuable resources Brawl Stars has to offer. It's used for nearly every bit of progression in the game, so don't waste it on true gold or silver skins. Even if you're maxed out, you have all the star powers, all the gadgets, all the hypercharges, future brawlers will be released with all of these things, and it'll cost an entire silver skin or more to max out. Look, if you really like a brawler, then go ahead, who cares? But who knows, you might want to save that gold for the next brawler that's really cool. Never ignore your daily quests. Unlike normal quests, these change every 24 hours, meaning every single day you'll earn 400 extra tokens. And that equals up to 2,800 extra tokens every single week. That is big, and that's not something you should pass up. It might be tempting to buy offers in the shop. I mean, look at that value, but I'd advise you to look elsewhere because in most cases, you'll get more value for your gems in the brawl pass or challenge continues. No matter how starved you are for gold, there will always be ways to get more if you just wait a few days for a lucky star drop or the next tier of the Brawl Pass. No need to spend your valuable gems. The key to being a good player in Brawl Stars is to understand your brawlers. So many times do I see a Mortis pull up into a heist match and ruin all of our chances for winning. So please, I, I beg of you, play a decent brawler for the mode you choose. Unless it's Showdown, then you can play whoever you want. Bling is used for almost every single cosmetic in Brawl Stars. You can buy skins, sprays, player icons, and... Pins. Ugh. Pins are one of the worst ways to spend your bling. I get that they might look pretty neat, but at such a steep price point, you could either buy a little emote or a skin and a half. It's your choice. Don't forget to subscribe! <laughs> now you have to... Uh, subscribe! Now! Always check your surroundings and showdown. You should never engage into a battle that you aren't positive you can win or enter the bushes without checking them first. You never know what's going to happen, and it could be either a Shelly with her super or... Charles. Sprout has one of the strongest supers in the game. It can completely block off sections of the map for the enemy, but also your teammates. Don't be a bad teammate and block off their path. There may be better places to put that wall. Just use your gadget and put them anywhere else. Don't waste your credits on fame. Fame is the most useless feature in Brawl Stars. It provides nothing more than a few pixels that don't do a single thing. Instead, save your credits for the new Brawlers. If you happen to miss a Brawl Pass season, you can spend your Chroma credits on the Chromatic Brawler you missed. Or if a new Legendary is released, Least, you might have enough on the Brawl Pass to spend. If you really want to get your fame up, just wait for star drops. They always give you credits when you need them the least. If you spend money on Brawl Stars, don't forget to use a creator code like Code Moyo. Uh, oh, never mind. Oh, and speaking of star drops, never miss them. It might be painful trying to get eight wins every single day, but even getting four is enough. You never know what you might get. It, it might just be rares, but there's always the chance for a legendary. And who knows? Maybe you'll finally get that brawler that you're missing or the skin that you want. Don't forget to check your daily freebie. You're guaranteed a jackpot every single month, so missing one day might be the day you get a free pile of coins. Hypercharges are the newest addition to Brawl Stars. They might be shiny and cool, and you might be tempted to save them in a match, but don't! Use them right when you get them. Don't stand around like an idiot contemplating when to use them. You might just die before using it once. Power League is great. Well, okay, great might be a bit too generous. Let's not make it any worse than it is by playing low power level brawlers. I understand if you just unlock Shelly and you really want to play her, but please, pick someone with at least a star power. You don't want to be facing power 11s against your power 3 brawler. If you have an open goal, don't try to trick shot. You've all seen clips where trick shots go horribly wrong. Sure, you might get a cool clip from it, but speaking for your teammates, it's better to win. If you're going to try to trick shot, either go against bots or team up with a team of friends so nobody innocent is losing trophies because of your bad skill. 
skills. Upgrading brawlers is great, it's so satisfying and we all love it, but don't go overboard. Gold and power points aren't the easiest things to come by, so choose specific brawlers to focus on maxing out, then move on once they're done. If you try and upgrade everyone at once, you'll quickly realize that your life savings of power points and gold are just gone. Don't ignore your brawlers. We have 73 in the game and more are coming each and every year. So do yourself a favor and try out each one. Every brawler has a different play style. They move differently, play differently. You'll become a better player overall if you understand the mechanics of each and can play solidly with them all. And hey, who knows? You might find a newfound love for one of them. It might be tempting to boot up some when music while you brawl, but I would advise against this. Audio cues are super important in Brawl Stars. It tells you where shots are coming from or who's around you. Without this, you might not know Shelly is in the bush or there's an Edgar jumping right onto you. Stay safe out there. Never play Hat Mortis and always play No Hat Mortis, and there's a good reason for this. It's not widely known, but No Hat Mortis actually has a slightly faster Big Dash charge, but it also has 5% more speed. This is obviously because of the hat being missing, so despite it being kind of ugly, you might want to consider using this one. And finally, don't play Brawl Stars at 3am, you do not want to know what happens.